Hello and welcome to a new video. For those of you that are new, my name is Steffi and I do lifestyle vlogs um, such as unboxings, hauls, travel vlogs, weekend vlogs, etc. And today is a first for me. It's my very first Charlotte Tilbury unboxing, which I'm very, very excited for. I've never used any of her products. I've always wanted to, <laughs> um, but every time I've gone to go and get them, basically this is like a, a big, a big splurge for me. Um, I've literally bought the kind of starter pack as such. <laughs> um, so when I've been wanting to do that in the past, other things have come up, and it's just because it is quite an indulgent splurge. So <laughs> um, let's get into the unboxing very excited now I was too impatient and <laughs> when it first arrived I did open it up and look at it all and everything I haven't actually gone into the boxes themselves so this is me unboxing them and it is a first impression so yes oh, look at all those goodies <laughs> right so let's start with this i went for the airbrush flawless foundation i got it in the shade one fair um which that's incorrect oh okay fine <laughs> i take that back um it's in the shade two neutral I'm hoping that this is going to be okay because I've done this purely out of researching online to find my shade and then going by what I think might work. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, look how pretty it looks. I do love her packaging. Ooh. Is anyone else like me? I have to turn it around so this bit faces the writing and such. I'm very excited to try this. I've heard great things about it. So. And then I also went for the Wonder Glow uh, Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. Um, again, researching primers, etc. This was the one to go for because it's silicon based so, and so is the uh, foundation so apparently it will sit better. Side note, I'm a complete novice with makeup, I have no idea what I'm doing so YouTube is like my school <laughs> um, to learn. But yeah, I've got the Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash and again, it's quite small than I was expecting, but hopefully maybe a little goes a long way. I got the Airbrush Flawless Finish, and this one is in uh, One Fair, shade One Fair. The packaging, excuse the reflection. Um, yeah, so pretty. Have shade Fair. So hopefully, this is what was recommended um, when I was picking out the foundation. So they recommended the <clears throat> number one fair to go with it. So hopefully that goes nicely. The next item I went for was the Magic Away uh, Liquid Concealer. This is um, in shade Liquid Concealer. This is number two, shade number two. Again, it was recommended uh, with the uh, foundation. So this is the shade. Oh, that's very fluffy. Sorry, I should probably show you <laughs> the packaging first. Again, lovely rose gold. And then the cute little fluffy brush. So I'm quite intrigued to try this. Um, Try it obviously using the uh, the brush or whatever it's called, and then my own way if that doesn't work. <laughs> Next, I got the Pillow Talk Cheek to Chic Blusher. Um, 
you'll see a theme very soon. I also went for a lot of the Pillow Talk collection as well because I've heard such good things about it and I was intrigued. Packaging. And then very nice. So very excited to try these. Then I went for the Pillow Talk uh, Beauty Light Wand highlighter, which I quite like liquid highlighters because the benefit. Um, high beam is my favorite. I love using that. I really want to try the, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but the unicorn looking one or the diamond one from uh, Too Faced. Oh, look at this. Packaging is just so lovely. This should be interesting to try as well. I've seen videos of people using it and you just dab it on, but I don't know if this is in its own, oh, push it back on, it's in its own shade, uh, it's, oh this is light medium, so that's base pre colours and things, so the next thing I went for was the full fat lashes, I did do a bit of research on the other mascara that she has um, but also but this one kind of came up a little bit more of what I was looking for because my lashes are quite my lashes are long but they're very straight and they don't really curl so we shall see how this works out oops oh paper <laughs> yeah. simple packaging for this one Oh, I quite like the wand. It's small because, again, I don't like big fat wand uh, brushes because my eyes are quite small-ish with the lashes and so anything that's big and fat tends to just go everywhere all over my eye. At the moment, I use Benefit, uh, what was it, Bad Gal, Bad Gal Bang and uh, Roller got the name of it now, I haven't used it for ages, uh, the roller one, <laughs> um, but yeah I love the brush on this, it's, it's a nice size, so I'm excited to try this, as I'm excited to try everything, <laughs> um, and then moving on, I went for a uh, eye palette, I was owing and ahhing between the Pillow Talk um, quad or the instant eye palette which has uh, 12 which is 12 pan um, and I thought you know what the 12 would be much better because there's a lot more uh, shades on there and I could probably get more use out of it than the quads because they are quite expensive 40 pound for one quad um, so I figured I'll go for this one and then I can always always add to the collection afterwards but this is just, oh, I'm showing you a box. <laughs> I love the boxes for these, so. Cushion, so pillow, yeah. But there we have the palette. So pretty. And then these are all the shades. It's a bit hard to show you. But there we go. So there is three shades for four different looks we've got day desk date and dream and do love the look for dream all of them I mean these are my kind of colors neutral and such so that'll be interesting to try all these out and then oh I was gonna say last but not least but now I've got a couple more to go <laughs> Um, sticking with the Pillow Talk, I went for the infamous uh, Pillow Talk lipstick. Um, and this is in the regular shade, uh, let's see, Pillow Talk. Uh, I 
yeah this is the matte revolution pillow talk so look. lovely lovely packaging oh wow <laughs> it looks a lot pinker on the website i have to check and make i went for the regular one i didn't go for the new color um I need to double check that one because it I thought this was a bit pinker but <laughs> and then last but not least I got the brow lift three-way shape tool and I went for the shade supermodel which I'm hoping is my shade <laughs> um, edge to get shaping on my brows and then spoolie and I think there's like an extra part to this yeah there it is the I'm not quite sure what that is <laughs> the little extra part to it which I didn't know until I saw in someone's video And then for my samples, I got to choose two. And I went for the Magic Eye Rescue because I've been looking for an eye cream, which in my old age, I need to start thinking about moisturizers for the older generation. <laughs> um, so I went for that one. And then I went for the, uh, See. Oh, have I got two of these? Oh, oh well. I went for the uh, sample of the Magic Cream, the Magic Night Cream, and then I seem to have a bit more of the Magic Eye Rescue as well. So, yay. But that is everything. I am, I will swatch some of the colours for you and um, I'll either insert them as I'm showing the item or at the end of this video. And I'm going to do a first impressions video as well. So I haven't tried any of them out yet. As obviously you saw, I unboxed them for the first time. So I am wanting to try it out. And then after maybe next week, I will then film my first impressions video on what I thought. And if any of it all suited me, if I, suit, if I chose the right colour and such. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of these kind of videos or any other type of lifestyle videos, please do subscribe and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!